Okay, so now we're moving on to problem number 12. Again, this is my motto in teaching. We're not going to let these types of problems intimidate us. It's not as difficult as it seems. So what we're going to do is we're just going to focus on that equation. So I'm going to bring it out of the word problem just so I can look at it. Minus 16t squared plus 32t. All right. After I have the equation written out, I'm just going to go through the word problem to make sure that all the details are taken care of with that equation. So 20 feet, I see 20. And then it says t seconds. So I see the t a bunch of times. And then I am just going to highlight maximum height. What is the maximum height? So now that I have that information, I'm going to go ahead and just for a moment, put the problem aside and just think, what do I know about these types of equations? So when I see that squared right here, 16t squared, I know that I'm dealing with a quadratic equation. So one thing that I do know about a quadratic equation, I know what type of graphs they form, and I know how to put this equation in standard form. So let's first talk about, okay, what type of graphs do quadratic equations form? So quad quadratic equations are going to form a parabola, either a happy face or a sad face parabola. All right. In order to know whether this parabola is going to make a happy face or a sad face parabola, we need to put this equation into standard form. So on your piece of paper, I want you to take notes. The standard form for a quadratic equation is as follows. So it's f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So we're going to take this equation here and just put it into standard form. So I'm going to first look to see what is my term with the x squared, or in this case, t squared. So it's negative 16 t squared. Then I'm gonna find my term that just has a t beside it, so 32 t. And then I'm gonna find what the constant is, which is a positive 20. So already I have my equation in standard form. Now that I have my equation in standard form, I can say, whether this is going to be a happy face parabola or a sad face parabola. And that's very easy to find out. You just look at A or the very first term. If it's a positive, it's going to be a happy face parabola. And if it's a negative, it's going to be a sad face parabola. So when we look at negative 16 T squared, we know that we are going to have a sad face or a downward facing parabola. The reason why we need to know this is because if we know whether it's facing upwards or facing lower, then you're able to know whether it has a maximum point or a minimum point. So if you look at this parabola, the one that I just drew here, it has a maximum point, meaning it has a highest point on the graph. It doesn't have a minimum point because as you see, when you see arrows, that means it goes on forever. If something goes on forever, it means there is no minimum value, but there is a clear point that is going to be at its maximum. So in order to solve this problem, they're asking you for the maximum height. You need to figure out what is this point? What is the vertex? So the vertex just means at what point does the parabola reach its maximum? or its minimum. In this case, at what point does this parabola reach its maximum point? So we're gonna go back to our equation. This is the equation that we're going to use. We're gonna go back to this equation and we're gonna use that in order to find the vertex. So in order to find the vertex, we need to be able to identify the three pieces, A, B, and C. Because we already put it in standard form, we already know that A is negative 16, B is 32, and C is gonna be 20. Now that we know this information, we can go ahead and use the vertex formula. So vertex is H comma K, and these are just formulas that we, we need to know, we need to remember. 
So if you're asking, okay, where did I get this formula from? This is just a formula that you need to know when you're trying to find H and when you're trying to find K. So when you're trying to find H, it's opposite of B over 2A. So H would be equal to opposite of B. So B is 32. So opposite of B would be negative 32 over 2 times A, which is negative 16. Negative 32 over negative 32. 2 times negative 16 is negative 16. Negative 32. And then negative 32 divided by negative 32 equals 1. So we just found 1. So now let's figure out what k is equal to. So when you're trying to find what k is equal to, all you have to do is now put what the value you found for h into that original equation. So I'm going to have to add a piece of paper. So now that we found what h is equal to, we're just going to try to figure out what k is equal to. And so we just put that into the equation. So instead of writing h of t equals negative 16t squared plus 32t plus 20, we're now going to put in the number 1 for that value. So it's going to be negative 16, 1 squared, plus 32 times 1, plus 20. 1 times 1 is 1, so 1 times negative 16 is negative 16, plus 32, plus 20. And then we're just going to go ahead and we can combine like terms, negative 16, and then that's plus 52. And then negative 16 plus 52 equals a positive 36. So we just figured out that K was equal to 36. So now we know that our vertex is at 136. So remember, if we go back to the problem, we're looking for maximum height. We know that this is a parabola, that's a downward facing parabola, that the vertex is the maximum height, we were able to use those two equations to find out that that vertex is at 136. So the maximum height would be if this was on a graph, say this was on a graph, and that's his x, and this is y. In order to get to this point, I would have to go over 1, and I would have to go up 36 on the y-axis. So this maximum height is at 36. So if we go back to the problem, it is in feet. So the answer would be in 36 feet. Now, you're going to probably be looking at me like, oh my gosh, that was very complicated. If you understood it, great. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Please subscribe to my channel. If you didn't understand it, stay just for a few more minutes just so that I can do a brief overview. All right. So again, I'm going to just erase a few things just so we can look at it clearly again. And we're just going to do a brief overview so that it can just be as simple as possible. I see when I read this equation, I see that it's a squared. So I know it's a quadratic equation. So my first thing to do is to put that quadratic equation into standard form. Once I have it into standard form, I can identify whether it's an upward facing or a lower facing parabola. Once I'm able to say whether it's an upward facing or a lower facing parabola, I can know, okay, the vertex in this case was the maximum point. So if I wanna know what the maximum height is, I just gotta figure out what the vertex is. So what I'm gonna do before I go ahead, plug any in it into any equation, I'm just gonna identify the pieces. What are A, B, and C equal to? A is negative 16. B was 32, and C is 20. Identifying it right away helps me when I now have to use the equation for H, and then it also will help me when I need to now plug it back in for K. So H is just the opposite of B over 2A. I was able to plug in everything, and I was able to find what H is equal to, which is 1. Once you find what H is equal to, then you go ahead and you just plug H into your original equation in standard form, and you were able to figure out what K was equal to. You were able to figure out H comma K is the vertex. So 1 comma 36 
would be this maximum point. And because you know that the X, you go over one, but then you go up 36, this maximum height would be 36 feet. If you need another example that's just like this problem, please just let me know. I'd be glad to help you out. Um, I also do private tutoring. If you're interested in that, you can always just send a comment and I'll send you my email address and maybe we can set something up so that I can give you private tutoring. I hope this video is helping you. Um, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me very much. And then also, if you can follow me, I'm going to be posting more videos. I just want you to understand that these problems do look complicated, but when you know how to tackle them, when you know how to break them down, and then once you practice doing that, you have a better chance at being able to do these types of problems on your exam. I hope you do well. I hope you test well. Um, I hope things go well for you, and I hope you have a great